This is probably cute back in the day, a little glass light. It's got a couple of light bulbs in here with a dimmer. That's sort of very nice, but it's old and ugly and needs to be replaced. I recommend these should be probably switched out every 10 years anyway, just because of the accumulation of grease that gets inside them. Um, like for anything, you're gonna install something new before you destroy the packaging and throw it away. Important to measure. Make sure that the one you're putting in will fit the hole. There you go, 29 and 3 quarters. It says 30 inch on the box. My hole is 29 and 3 quarters. I know from a lot of experience that these are a standard size and if you have an old 30 inch stove underneath a 30 inch hood fan, the new one will fit just fine. But this is an old house and it never hurts to have a process that you can count on. Now, we are obviously got screws in here. This particular hood fan, we don't have access to the screws directly. We have a little separation shield here we're just gonna remove. Okay, here we are. Now that's that side of the way. Now we've exposed our screws and there's a ton of them, holy cow. So usually these hood fans are just installed with these four locations here. You put the screws in first, you leave them backed out, you pop the hood fan in, and then you tighten the screws later. But we've got screws in the walls, screws in the cabinets, screws where it's not necessary. <laughs> wow. I've never seen a hood fan screwed so much. <laughs> now this is the part I was looking forward to. What kind of electrics do we have here? Oh yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we have a blue three wire coming to the hood fan, and the red line is cut. I have no idea where it's coming from, but it's still a 14 gauge. Just absolutely amazing. All right, nothing but I gotta love the duct tape. This is my favorite. Okay. So this is live power. So because of our electrical issues here, this is obviously done by the homeowner at some point, not a licensed electrician. They don't even have this wire attached to the hood fan with the grommet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this hood fan. I'm gonna get this back installed again, and then I'm gonna call in the electrician and have them take a look at the connection in the breaker panel and then connect the hood fan at the same time. All right, here we go. Now, it's that simple. There is a damper on the back of these. There we are. There's our wire. That's actually in pretty good shape back there. So when you're dealing with something like this in your own home, as a homeowner in Ontario, you have to check with your own municipality or, or county about this, but you are allowed to handle your electricity in your own home. Um, whether or not that's a good idea, you know, it all depends on you. But in this case, because we couldn't even short the breaker out to identify it, I have a lot of serious questions about how this is wired. So we're calling an electrician in because A, this isn't my house, and B, we're not exactly sure what's going on. So we're not even gonna to try to hook this back up again. Always best to get a licensed electrician in. And here's another tip for you. If you need an electrician to come into your house, if we install the hood fan and leave the wires in there ready to roll, then he's here for a small amount of time. If you ask him to install the hood fan for you, he may or may not know how, and he might end up leaving again before he even starts. So it's best to have the appliance installed, ready to go, and then call for rewiring. Here we go, hood fans today. Packaging, packaging, packaging. Remove the screens. What we're looking for here is the brand new adapter for the back to match up the existing access, and here it is. This particular unit, as will most nowadays, comes with options for a rear vent or top vent. Rear vent means out through the wall, and here's our thing there. Cute, we'll see what those are for in a minute. This is our electrics. Open up the housing here. And we have option for rear. We'll set this aside for now. We're taking a look at preparing our hood fan for install. Of course, we have our measurement, right? It's just under 30 inches. 
Our electrics are coming through the rear at seven and a half. So we're gonna double check. Seven and a half is here. Our hole in the wall is in the wrong spot. Now, because it's just drywall, you can always create a new hole and then move the wire over. So we are gonna put this little plastic cap on the wire. Okay, we'll grab this tab and we're just gonna bend it back and forth. This works better when both sides are loosened up. There we are. You can see, this is not a place where you want a wire without the protective covering of that little grommet. There's always little metal shards here that your wire, when there's power running through, it vibrates. And if it's pressed up against it, it'll vibrate right through and then you'll actually end up charging the whole hood fan. So you could be standing here and touch it with wet hands and electrocute yourself. The rear exhaust. So these are mostly broken away. There's just a couple of little weak spots that you gotta break loose. Always take the tape off the damper. Be surprised how many times I've been called into a situation where the homeowner's like, I just don't have good airflow in my hood fan. And it turns out it's something as simple as someone didn't take the tape off. We're upside down right now, so it'll stay open. Whenever we invert it, it'll stay closed. Now the screws for mounting this are always found somewhere on this unit. And this one comes with a top mounting plate which we don't need. So this will be discarded, but we'll save the screws. These are just machine screws. You can actually get that one started. And then just slide that right in. It's a lot of little pieces to be holding with one hand. So a little trick there. All right. Now we're ready to mount it. So the mounting process is simple. What we need to do is measure to where these screws here are gonna go. You can see these four locations where the screws go. It's designed on purpose where you put the screw into the cabinet first, leave them hanging so you can put this in and then slide it to the back. So we're just going to mark our locations. Three and an eighth and 11 inch. Three and an eighth and 11 inch. This hood fan is six inches deep. The old one was only four and a quarter. So this hood fan is actually going to sit over top of the tile. So we've got to account for that depth. And we're going to add an extra quarter inch to each of these markings. We're gonna leave these hanging out a really good, healthy amount. Here's the trick. The idea here is to get it in position and you're more, more focused about the exhaust. You wanna get that exhaust damper first. Once you get the exhaust damper, pull on the wire until we get that grommet in place. You can see that my screws are in a decent position. Probably didn't pull them forward enough. So I'm just going to set two of them to hold the weight of this unit. And then we're going to readjust our screws right up to the front. There we go. So in the package that came with the hood fan is this cute little suction cup thing. And this tool is designed for your halogen light installation. And it's a little suction cup and you put it on your halogen light bulb and you use it to screw it in. The reason you have to use this is because human hands secrete oil and if it gets on the bulb, the bulb will overheat and it'll blow up and it will stop working. So whenever you're changing a halogen bulb, 
uh, wear gloves, do anything you can, but separate yourself from the bulb and it'll last forever. And that's all I can do. We gotta call the electrician to get this sorted out. But uh, basically all you have to do is pop your lights in. These are, oh, they're MR2. Those are the little, the little halogen lights with the two pins. So you gotta put them in and give them a quarter turn. That's why this. So then you would put your light bulb on here, give it a twist, and you're done. So I'll call the electrician, I'll have him bring me a couple of bulbs while he's at it, and then uh, he can get this all powered up.